Hey, 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 it's another Sunday night. Time to focus our energy for the week. Terry Ann Hyman here with Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. So come on in, join me for a few minutes as we look to align our energy and focus on what's going on. So much is going on in the cosmos, so much energy. We're also going to be doing a little bit of setting intentions. We've still got that new moon energy. So grab a notebook. If you have a manifesting notebook, grab a pen, a piece of paper, and come on in and join me for a few minutes, right? We're going to just focus our energy, do a short meditation, and then we've got some cards to move through for the energy of this week. How is everybody doing? Beautiful new moon energy, deep. Lots of Scorpio energy, really deep energy going on right now. How do you use that energy for you? Do you trust the cosmos? Or do you kind of sit in doubt of it? Which is it for you? Do you trust the cosmos? Are you able to really open up and experience the energy and use that energy for your higher good? Because that's what's going on right now with all of this energy around us, all the Scorpio energy. Yeah, we've got some Mars energy, some Jupiter, which is luck, and we've also got some Neptune, which is dreamy. We've got some Uranus energy too, which is all about destruction, but in a good way. So come on in and join me. We'll be here for a few minutes just to kind of align with lots of energy of the cosmos. I'm gonna go ahead and share the content. If you're around and can do that too, share it for me as you come on in. So grab a piece of paper, grab your notebook, so we can set some intentions. We've still got the availability of this beautiful energy right now. Yes. So come on in. I'm looking for it on Facebook so I can share it into the feed. Maybe that's why you have trouble finding me. Here we go. Somewhere around. Here we go. Yay. I found it. All right. Let's see. Here we go. I'm going to share it to my group, which come on over and join. If you're not a part of the Empowered Spirit Circle, Come over and join us in there. It's kind of where the conversation continues during the week. There we go. I shared it now there. All right. So come on over and join us. Find it on um, Facebook, Powered Spirit Circle. So here we have a lot of stuff going on. All right. One more, and then I am going to be focused. So grab yourself a pencil, a piece of paper. We're going to talk about manifesting under this new moon energy. That's what we're in right now. Okay, there we go. Share, share. All right, and if you come in too, share it out. Share it out to your friends. Find out who it is that needs this kind of energy and come on in and join us. All right, we're choosing from the wild unknown. All right, we've got this great deck out. Earlier I posted cards, so go ahead and choose a card if you didn't. One, two, or three. Hey, Sean, I just saw you pop in there. All right. So, how's it going? All right. The first question I pose to you right now is, can you trust the cosmos? Can you trust the energy that is around us right now? Do you use this in a good way? All right. I got a thumbs up. Or do you doubt it? I know for myself, gosh, for me, it's always been a great way to open up to the energy. We have so many aspects going on. Right now, there's a lot of Scorpio energy Lots, moon, sun, transits, lots of energy going on. And actually tomorrow, tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show, we've got Laurie Zielinski, Z-Girl Astrology Report. She's going to be back on talking about this because there's so much to talk about. So be sure and join us on the Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow. It drops at 12. Listen in, check it out. So much to understand. And listen, if you are one of those that are on the fence about joining the Spiritual Leadership Training Program, all right, I've got room for three more people. If you are on the fence, listen to the podcast. Listen and see if you can. Be in alignment with whether you trust the cosmos or not, because there's so much about healing and transformation and now being the time to step up to the plate and all this energy that is opening up. So I ask you that again and give me a hashtag below. Do you trust or do you doubt when the cosmos open up the way they are right now? It's almost like a little door opens up and kind of helps to push us in, especially when we're talking about Healers, service work, being of service to the universe, stepping into your spiritual path, all this energy is exactly what is going on. I find it, ex I find it exa uh, exciting. As we talk about tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show with, with Lori, really exciting. Our money system, tax reform, she really does explain it. All right, I got a hashtag trust. Yay. All right. 
I like to trust in the cosmos too. And you'll hear it more tomorrow when we talk about that. So what are we going, what's going on right now? How can we use the energy that is available to us right now? We just went into this new moon energy yesterday, so we still have about another day and a half. So one of the things that we do is we set intentions, right? So in a few moments, we're going to do some breathing and then we're going to give you opportunity just to write them down. Best to think them and then write them out and then set that energy in motion. It's in Scorpio, which is really deep. All right, we have to open up to the deeper parts of who we are. All right, we've got some lucky energy around us, and we also have some energy that can help. Uranus is known to be a little destructive, but as Laurie talks about tomorrow, it's really a good destruction. It's really to move out what isn't serving you so that you don't do things in the same way. It's time to raise the ceiling. It's time to reach and stretch beyond your comfortable. It really is. So trust that energy. That's what's coming forward. So as we go to start the week, Monday, tomorrow, we're going to have a little bit of a push-pull energy. We're excited for the holidays. We don't want to work. we got to get stuff done. So it's going to be a little bit of that push-pull energy. So balance is key, really finding the balance. Tuesday, we're going to also get a little bit more of that. And we're going to start to feel Wednesday, we're going to want to party, all right? It's just going to be dreamy Neptune energy. So get your work done early in the week. Don't procrastinate. Just get it done. Check, check, check. Check it off the list. By the time we get to Wednesday, chill out. It's time to really enjoy the season of where we are. Thursday is our gratitude day. So offer gratitude, even if you're in challenging situations, even if your family is challenging you, right? We all know how family can get sometimes, but we love them, right? So just be chill, right? Find that way to really just kind of start to chill, even into Friday. Friday is actually the most productive way, day. So hello, Black Friday, right? I don't know, me and my kids enjoy Black Friday, but Friday is most productive. So if you need to get some stuff done, be sure to do that on Friday. And then by the weekend, it's back to having fun and really enjoying the harvest season that we're in right now. So hopefully you can use this to guide you through the week. All right, so just take a deep inhale. We're gonna take a moment and really begin to feel the depth of our energy. That's what we're focusing on right now. That's what Scorpio gives us, that depth, that height. All right, some good oils to use right now is rose, yang yang, frankincense, myrrh. These are really good to use in meditation and to help you feel that alignment. So the meditation we're going to do right now is going to open up to the highest realms and deep into the earth. And then we're going to find the heart to release out our intentions right now. All right, so as we go to begin, take a deep inhale. And just exhale out. Send all of the excess energy around you. Let it go down. All right. This is when we begin to pull back our energy, pull back the spirit. We're usually way out ahead of us. Pull it back in. Become really present for this moment. Pull in the energy of the weekend to align our spirit for this week ahead. Inhale. Send it up the body. And just tap in. Call in those that come before us. Call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels. Call them in to work with us and through us, to surround us and protect us as we open up this energy to this week. Inhaling, bringing that breath all the way up the body. And exhale, send it down. Go even deeper into the earth. Open up that column of energy, that Shashunda channel. Inhaling, send the energy all the way up the crown, up into the heavens. And exhale, pull that energy all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling, opening up that energy all the way up into the higher dimensions, fifth dimension, six, all the way up. And exhale, bring the energy all the way back down deep into the earth. One more time. Inhaling. And exhaling, filling your energy, pulling into center, feeling the alignment. Now just drop the awareness right into the heart chakra. Take those intentions that you want to set for the new moon, putting them right into the heart chakra, bring them in through there, and continue that inhale and exhale, and as you exhale, send it out. And again, inhale, send it out. Send out the good it will do for the universe and all those around you. Good, and then just take a moment and write those intentions down, whatever it was for you. Send it from the heart out into the universe to serve, to live your path, whatever those intentions are for you right now. Feel the energy opening out into the heart, trusting, knowing, sending them out. Feel the vibration around you. Lift it up. 
Scorpio energy is taking us up deeper and deeper. Exhale, send whatever gets out, coming back, feeling the feet grounding. Leaving the heart open as you manifest these intentions right now. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel that strength in your soul. Feel that alignment of the cosmos all around us right now. Scorpio is deep. Scorpio is spiritual. Scorpio is opening us up right now for all the healers out there, for all the people in service, all the transformational people. This is your time. This is the time to put those intentions out and to step up to your path, to your work right now. The universe is supporting you. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale and just send that breath all the way back down deep into the earth coming back bringing the focus around coming back good all right here we are so we drew some cards today beautiful cards to come forward as we move through the week so if you didn't have a chance to draw them one two or three Drawing from the wild unknown, and then they have an anchor card for all of us. All right, so the first card up, if you drew one, is the lover's card. Now, we had this last week, so this energy is continuing for us. This is all about unity, all about coming together, opening the heart, all right? Really, those soul people that you travel with. Yes, it can represent a particular person, but it can also represent your family right now. This is what this card is telling me right now. The carnelian stone was underneath it. Or it was, a uh, yes, the carnelian. Carnelian is that second chakra energy. It is all about those intimate relationships we have with family and with each other. So this card is asking you to open up that energy. To be in alignment with the love, the heart. All right, let go of some of the fussing and the fighting. If you have any of that going on as we move through this week. Perfect card, right, for the holiday season. So that's the first card. Now if you drew the second card... It's the Emperor card. All right, so this card is telling us to stand tall. It's telling us to pull those roots up and stand tall and put our work out there. This is a little bit more masculine. I think we've, we've drawn the Empress. <clears throat> but this one is telling us to really be a little more aggressive. All right, that's some of that Mars energy. Not fight, not that kind of aggressive, but standing strong. Look how strong the tree stands. Now also look at the connection with the sun. Open up your eyes into your vision. Shine it really strong right now. That's what this card is about. All right, trees can see so much. Can you? This is what this card is calling you to do. Really be present. Really take a stand, all right? That's some of that yang energy, all right? Don't just kind of wish it. Take a stand, all right? I got a heart there, all right? Definitely resonating. It is time to do that. It was underneath the Amazonite. So I like to use Amazonite for removing any kind of that electromagnetic static all right so maybe you need some of that to get out of your way to clear that vision that path for you to be that strong force in your life all right that was the second card now if you drew the third card i love this card this is always so beautiful all right this is the six of wands all right this is about releasing that destructive energy all right there's our uranus energy releasing that energy out transformation butterflies are transformation and the big question with this card where it is right now is where are you going next what is that next step all right the ability to let the other stuff go and now it's challenging you and so are the cosmos right now challenging you to find that transformation what is your next step it was underneath the hematite the hematite is great because it can reflect out what's not yours and reflect in towards you all right i got another heart there all right, so where can you make those shifts and transform and move forward, knowing your path, all right? Clearing out the excess energy, knowing your path. All right, so that was the third card. The unifying card for all of us, the anchoring card, is this Daughter of Swords, all right? This is actually kind of a fun card, and this is kind of representative of kind of the energy tomorrow, too. But this is a card that reminds us, look how beautiful she is. She sits on the perch. She sits on that sword. Look at the color orbs around her. That's all intuitive energy coming in. It's lots of observation. All right, so let's take, let's, let's say uh, witnessing. All right, let's use that word for right now. As we're with our family this week and with the relatives and all, kind of step back, do a little witnessing. 
Don't get too caught up in that nitpicky stuff. That can be the downfall of this is that we see so much and then we have to nitpick it out, right? That can cause a little tension. But observe. Be the observer in this particular case. That's going to help us so much. Observe your life especially and those around you too as we go through this, this week and opening up to this holiday. All right? So the way that we do that is this is the anchor card. Remember the love. All right, open the heart, be in love, unify the energy, let everything else go. Life is precious. Life is precious. We don't know where we'll be next year, right? We can guess, we can project, never know. So open the heart. All right, stand strong. Stand strong in your visions, what you're seeing. Maybe you are the vision for your family. Maybe you are the vision for your group. And maybe it's time now for you to open up to that energy as you move through it this week. Very important. And then transforming. All right, where are you going to next? Use all that wisdom that you've taken in, the ability to look at the things in your life and to make that new direction. This is coming. This is coming. Don't put it off. It's not the time to put it off. Consciousness is asking us to really open up and find that energy for all of us. It really is. Yeah. All right, so take a nice deep inhale and exhale out. Really use this energy right now to propel your life forward. It really is time. All right? All right, Brooke, thank you too. Aho. All right. It really is. It's time to open up. If you're still on the fence, for those of you in the in Empowered Spirit Circle over here, if you're still on the fence about the program, listen to the podcast tomorrow with Lori. Lori gives us a beautiful understanding of all this energy, Z-Girl Astrology. It drops at 12 tomorrow. You can find it on my website, terryannhyman.com, empoweredspiritshow.com, or Blog Talk Radio, any of those places. You can find it, but there's some really good messages. All right? It's time to trust this work. It's time to put it out into the universe. I really believe when we live with our spiritual self, we can live with more confidence. We can live with more depth in our soul and really feel a much more fulfilling part of who we are. All right. So take this energy with you. Offer gratitude for your life. Good, bad, or indifferent. That's our lessons. That's how we learn. Let these cards help guide you through the week as you move through. All right. Take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale out. I'm not seeing anybody asking for cards. I'm not really seeing. I see the numbers of people there. I'm not really seeing. If anybody wants a card, now is the time to pick. Otherwise, you guys have a great week. Join me over at the Empowered Spirit Circle. And be sure to tune in to the podcast with Lori Zelensky tomorrow. Z-Girl Astrology. It's a great show. So much is going on in the cosmos. Trust. Trust your spirit. Go through the week, be empowered. Have a great week. Happy holidays. Much gratitude to each and every one. Much gratitude for the work that I do, offering this right now, raising the vibration of humanity to your spirit. Namaste.